follow the moon. And today, we're going to let her buck. That's right. If this is familiar at all to you, then you already know what an awesome little community Pendleton, Oregon is. But we want to take you around the town, show you everything this town has to offer, and more importantly, what letter buck means. That's right. Come along. Now, Pendleton is set in the beautiful uh, Eastern Oregon area, and it's just absolutely beautiful countryside. And this is definitely a cowboy town. It sure is. So what better way to start off as you come into Pendleton, right in the middle of the clover leaf off of I-84, you'll find this, the cattle drive. There are 12 individual pieces between the cows, the cowboys on their horses, and the cattle dog, which is yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah, mine too. And I will say, we've seen this a couple of times. We've not seen it at night, but there are lights set up to shine on everything. I'll bet at night it's really something. That really set the tone for, uh, for the town. That's right. And what I always knew Pendleton for was for Pendleton Woolen Mills. My uncle had a clothing business back in Ohio and he sold Pendleton. It was some of the nicest woolen goods, whether it was blankets or jackets, coats, you name it, it's beautiful stuff. And it still is to this day. This building has been there since 1909. They manufacture there. They do have a tour of their manufacturing facility. It is only open Monday through Friday and not on holidays. And we were there over Labor Day weekend. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to go through the tour, but they do have a, a retail shop there. They have their heritage area, which is all Native American life, which is where a lot of Pendleton's patterns come from. definitely a must-see. Right beside Pendleton is the Old Mill Race Bridge and there's a lot of logging done in Oregon and this has been there since the early 1900s. When I grew up in Ohio behind our house was an Old Mill Race where they the, log, the logs were floated down the water and that's exactly what this was. Next up is the downtown, and history is alive downtown. Oh, it sure, it, it never decayed. That's right. This is something I've never seen before, their historic clock tower. This is a recreation of the tower with the old clock movement in it. And this is how you get four clock faces to tell the same time. That is a Seth Thomas clock movement down at the base of the clock tower. And there's two cables going out of that. You'll see them going up in the air there. And they operate the hands on the four clocks around the top of the tower. And you'll even see on the left side and at the bottom on the right side, the weights that take care of that movement. That's pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that. Their entire downtown is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a step back in time. It's not a recreated town. Yeah, that's These... the neat thing. It's It's been maintained and, and lived in since all those days back. Yeah. A lot of the buildings date back to the late 1800s or maybe as, as modern as early 1900s. But uh, this town is really really something this is a uh, eagles building where the staircase goes up to the top and it has eventually become part of the woodman of the world they they fix up their upstairs windows in here yeah 
it's, it's really pretty cool. That is a hotel that is being completely renovated and gotten ready for the, the big roundup coming up. That's a steakhouse downtown that was highly recommended. And Staplemans over there make boots custom for you. A lot of the buildings will have markers on them telling you what they used to be back 50, 80, 100 years ago. And the architecture is just phenomenal. It really is. They're just beautiful. And they are very nicely taken care of. Mm -hmm. This was recommended very highly to us. OMG Burgers and Brew. So we decided we'd stop in there for lunch and they have great burgers, uh, extras, salads, sliders, hot dogs, chicken, you name it. Kathy had her signature lavender lemonade. I had a margarita. They brought out some water yeah, for Maggie. <laughs> And it's really cute inside. It's the old brick walls. She had a chicken cob salad. And I had a big blue burger with tots. Out of this world. Now the bronze trail goes all the way along Main Street. You'll see George Fletcher there, who was a National Cowboy Hall of Famer. Kathleen McClinic, who was the uh, Roundup Queen. This is Madam Stella Darby. Kind of goes without saying. <laughs> Ara Rayleigh there is the mother of Pendleton. Chief Clarence Burke was the Roundup Chief. And Jackson Sundown, at the age of 53, won the bronc, bronc riding competition in 1916. There's more throughout the town, but that gives you a little idea of how they celebrate their heritage. There's so many great shops. There are, and restaurants, and many with yeah. outdoor seating, and the, the climate was beautiful. Now this is the old Rivoli Theater, and what it used to look like. Everything is a step back in time. Most of the buildings look great. There's some of them that are being renovated right now that are going to look even better. And There's mature the trees, yeah. Mature trees up and down just make it really nice to, to wander. Mm -hmm. That was where the madam had her establishment in the upstairs. Mm -hmm. Now Brownfield Park just a little area that celebrates one of their football coaches for 36 years at their local school. And right down from that is the Pendleton River Walk. They have their Blue Heron sculpture out there. And uh, the river walk there uh, runs down along the, the length of the downtown basically about a block over from court the the main road and right? it's very peaceful mm -hmm. very nice area the heritage station museum is the old train station it's now a museum and even has the old schoolhouse there beside it but if you're going to come to pendleton this is what you come for the Pendleton Roundup. This has been voted nine years the best large outdoor rodeo. And in fact, other than 2020 during the pandemic, from 2015 up through last year, consecutively seven years. Roundup is going to be about a week after we leave, so after as you're watching this, 
you already know the outcome of this year's roundup. That's right. And this was kind of a surprise for me that this was cowboy yep. area. They they in, they build themselves as the true west. Yeah. This place is massive. They say the population increases two to three fold during the roundup. And there were signs all up and down that they were getting ready for it. Mm -hmm. So Kathy, what did you think about our time in Pendleton, Oregon? Oh, this place is great. I should have brought my, my cowgirl hat. Absolutely. <laughs> this little town has so many big things that have put it on the map. And if you have skipped through Pendleton on your way uh, across this country, you need to make this a stop, your next pass through. It's Absolutely. definitely, definitely worth it. And everything that you've seen is probably within a mile or two miles of Interstate 84. So it's real easy to get to any of this. We missed the Letterbuck Roundup by about a week. It's the middle of September, so by the time you're seeing this, you already know of everything that happened here. That's right. <laughs> so, with that, we want to thank you all for joining us today. If you've enjoyed the video, leave us a thumbs up. We sure appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and that way you'll know when every one of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.